Hello friends, this video on environmental issues part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to talk about depletion of ozone layer. Now you might be wondering what exactly is ozone layer. So let us first understand what is the ozone layer and why depletion of ozone layer is a threat to our environment. So what is ozone layer? Now we all know that sun emits many different types of radiations. Now for example, visible light, infrared radiation, ultraviolet radiation, microwaves, radio waves, etc. And that is what exactly, I mean all of them together forms the electromagnetic spectrum. Now out of these radiations, some of them are quite useful to the earth. For example, visible light is helpful to us. But when you talk, talk about some of these radiations like the ultraviolet radiation. So these are not really useful. Instead, they have got many harmful effects on the living cells. Now, since ultraviolet radiations are those radiations which have very high energy. Now, due to extremely high energy, they are capable of breaking chemical bonds between molecules. So these ultraviolet rays have very high energy. Now, high energy if it is in excess, in that case, it can do a lot of destructive stuff. For example, this high energy can break bonds, break chemical bonds between molecules and that's how it can break down the molecules. It can cause several, it, it also has severe impact on the living cells. It can cause several diseases like the skin cancer because skin is something which is exposed to the ultraviolet radiation. So skin, it can cause skin cancer. So on one hand, they have extremely high energy which can be harmful to the living cells. And on the other hand, DNA and proteins which are present inside our cells, they always have a tendency to absorb ultraviolet radiation. So both the ways it, uh, there is a, a disadvantage. On one way, it's the proteins and DNA inside our cells want to absorb more and more ultraviolet radiation. And on the other side, this ultraviolet radiation can cause harm to the cells. So that means what we can do is if we want to protect ourselves, we have to provide protection against this ultraviolet radiation. And that is where ozone layer comes into picture. So ozone layer is nothing but a layer formed of ozone. It is just like a blanket, like the way we have atmosphere. In a similar way, we have an ozone layer and this layer protects us from the harmful ultraviolet radiation coming from the sun. So it is a protective layer around the earth which absorbs the harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. So it is something like this. This is the earth. This is the sun. So ultraviolet radiation, radiation are coming and somewhere here in between the sun and the earth you have the ozone layer. So when the ultraviolet radiation comes in it gets absorbed by the ozone layer. So they cannot reach the earth. So it is a protective layer for us. So now that we have been talking about ozone layer, let us first try to understand what is ozone. So ozone is actually a deadly poison. In very simple words, it is a poison. Now you might wonder if ozone is a poison, then why, how come ozone layer is a protection for us? So that is a beauty of it. So even the ozone in itself is a poison. Now what is ozone? What exactly is ozone? It is nothing but O3 that is basically three oxygen atoms so it is formed by three atoms of oxygen and it is actually a poison but this layer of poison when it is present and surrounding the earth it absorbs the ultraviolet radiation and this property of ozone layer makes it a protective layer for all of us so now the question is where is ozone present and how this ozone is formed? So ozone is a colorless, orderless gas. So that means it has no color, it has no smell. So it is actually very difficult to detect the presence of ozone. 
it is formed at higher levels of atmosphere now towards the upper layer of the atmosphere ozone is formed and that is why it forms a protective layer outside the atmosphere so therefore when the ultraviolet radiation tend to enter the atmosphere before that itself it gets absorbed by the ozone layer so how exactly is it formed so let us try to see now at the higher levels of the atmosphere or at the outer layers of the atmosphere oxygen is present so o2 is present now what happens is when ultraviolet radiation or when ultraviolet rays fall on the atmosphere it splits this oxygen to form oxygen atoms so the oxygen molecule splits to form oxygen atom and one of these oxygen atom combines with oxygen molecule to form what we call as ozone so this is ozone and this ozone has a property that it will absorb ultraviolet radiation so basically if you look at it the formation of ozone also happens with the help of ultraviolet radiation that means when ultraviolet radiation from the sun comes and it just reaches the upper layers or the outer layers of atmosphere where oxygen is pre present so it breaks down oxygen to form oxygen atoms and these oxygen atoms combine with the oxygen molecule present there to form ozone so the way this is how ozone formation takes place now ozone breakdown can also happen how ozone breaks down so ozone breaks down in this way ozone breaks to form oxygen molecule plus one atom of oxygen in fact when ozone when oxidized it forms the oxy two molecules of oxygen so this is how conversion of ozone into oxygen takes place so basically this is how formation of ozone takes place so that is of that was of prime importance here so this is ozone so now we know how ozone is formed and how ozone uh, acts as a protection against the ultraviolet radiation thank you please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.